What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm up with a Kit Crashes video today. So Kit Crashes is a series where I grab a scrapbooking kit or a Project Life kit, and I smash it and crash it and try and get as much of I can, much as I can out of the one kit over a few different uh, layouts. So this is a new kit. I haven't had this kit before. So this is the Reset Girl, and it's their Crafty Girl kit. And the Reset Girl's most commonly known for planner stuff, but she sent me some happy mail, and she sent me the crafty girl kit which is perfect I think for project lifers it comes with lots of stickers but tons of stickers and these little cards which are perfect for pocket pages but I'm deciding today to use them for a layout something a little bit different so this is a photo of three generations so this is my mum my nan and I at my birthday this year yes this year because I'm very pregnant and I decided to do a bit of a kind of like a off-centered grid-esque type layout. Um, these little cards are also perfect. I can't wait to use some of them in my journaling as like little tip-ins and they've just got really nice quotes and very motivational. So I'm using my Basil Marshmallow cardstock, which is really great for mixed media. Now, this is a fail. Look at this spray bottle. Bow, bow. Yep, it's clogged. Does anyone please, please tell me someone knows a suggestion. Do you know how to unclog your spray bottles? Now, this is just a, a normal spray mist. It's not a, like a glimmery one. It doesn't have bits of particles in it. And I've washed it with hot water. I've tried paper towel. I've tried a cotton bud. How can I save it? I, I love that color so much. So I'm just using a couple of the, I think they're the dilutions or distress stains, one or the other, uh, just to make a really nice soft background. And I did wet it first so that the color kind of muted out or watercolored blurred out a little bit so that it didn't look so mist. Because you know when you spray a mist background and sometimes it's so saturated and it's just like oh, you just sprayed mist everywhere I kind of like the softer look so spraying your cardstock with water first really does help I'm using some white tissue paper here just to create create a little mat and the reason why I like doing this is just because it adds a little bit of texture and makes it kind of a bit softer than everything being so flat and papery and I do realize that <laughs> I am scrapbooking and most of the products are flat and papery but it's just nice to have something a little bit soft every now and then this is new so I may have used it in a layout before though I'm not sure which order this is going in when I'm filming and recording these but um, this was just gift wrap from my two dollar shop and it's clear with little pink polka dots on it and I love it and I thought it was perfect because uh, you know it's a birthday and I always associate polka dots with like birthdays or joyful festive little situations so I thought that was a, a good match I'm going through my doilies here and I'm getting these ones. So I get a lot of questions about these. These are from Amazon and they're the Cambridge six inch style. I think that's what they are. Be warned, you get a thousand of them. So it might be a good idea if you do want them to go kind of halves, quarters, eighths, tenths with some friends because you you do not need a thousand doilies as I'm soon learning um, so I'm just adding the cards here and I wanted this one to kind of be a bit journaly so I'm just putting it on the corner there and leaving some space so that I can do some journaling in a little bit now I have learnt that the gift wrap doesn't it doesn't always like the ATG so I do often use double-sided tape because um, the ATG doesn't like definitely doesn't like doilies or tissue paper but it also just doesn't like this clear stuff for some reason it kind of drags it and doesn't always stick properly so I'm just sticking that down and I know that I wanted to put my title down the bottom and this floral is gorgeous this sticker so I just cut it off I like to overlay my stuff on the side um, I kind of just feel like it doesn't look as plonked on I guess you could say it kind of grounds the photo a little bit more and grounds the layout a little bit this is the reset girl roller date stamp and it's from carpe diem I think I spy on the packaging there I'm a sucker for roller date stamps but I need to use them more and they're right on my desk. I have my favorite ones on my desk. I really need to reach for them more often. I know in, I don't know if it was the last video or the second last video that I did, I talked about doing a stamp series. So I think once I have a few kits to 
get finished off and then I think I might do a bit of a stamp series to give kit crashes a break for a little while so there'll probably be another maybe four or five kit crashes videos and then I'll do a stampy series so these little stickers here they do have um, similar shaped stickers each month so it's good that if you do do journaling or project life you kind of have that repetitive consistent um, icon in your projects so they always have these little well the kits that I've got anyway they always have these little hexagon ones which I did struggle with at first because my you know I'm a heart girl girls I'm a heart girl and I just the hexagons they threw me a little bit I don't think I've ever used a hexagon in a layout before it's one of those shapes I think I talked about this before it's one of those shapes that just kind of Oh, baffles me a little bit I just don't know how to make it look good so you saw just before there I was flicking through some little bits to get these XOXO and what I do with my uh, thicker packets when I only have a couple of vowels left so usually no A's or E's it's usually the the I's and O's and U's left I have a look at the thicker sheet and I see what words that I can make from it and I often take those words off like very generic ones that I can use like bub uh, bunny xoxo mum any of those kind of words that I think I'll be able to use very easily and I put them onto a little bit of baking paper and I put them in a plastic sleeve near you know the thicker words that have the their words instead of the alphabet I put them in the same spot as those so if I'm ever looking for a title idea I can just grab it and go through those so that's a little tip if you've got if you're like me and you have an excess of thickers you can always have a search for packets that are they've seen better days um, and then you can see if there's any words you can possibly make there are apps and websites where you can put in letters and it will tell you what words you can make out of them as well I had an app on my phone once for uh, cheating when I used to play words with friends I used to use it quite a lot not don't tell Aaron that but that's how I used to win uh, so <laughs> um, if you ever get stuck you can always do that and then you can use your other thickers that are the letters like like Q you know me you know I'm going to not use that Q um, you can always use them for some other projects I'll link down below actually I have two videos showing how you can use leftover thickers so I'll link both of those below they're old videos I think they were maybe two years old so if you've missed those they have some great ideas for how to use up thickers because they're one thing that just stays in our stash forever. Hi to shine, shake, 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 shake your hi to shine, shake your hi to shine. So I'm recording this while Archie's sleeping and I'm so surprised he stayed asleep the whole time. So I just added a little bit of hi to shine, cutting off my doily and I'm all done. So I'm really into these little sprinklings at the moment of little stars and hearts and hi to shine and I just think that it whoa that's bright Adele um, I really think that it just kind of gives a bit of a festive feel to this layout so thanks for watching today guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and it really would mean the world if you subscribed and did give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very shortly on Saturday with your next video bye